what's going on guys we're gonna do a quick exhaust manifold repair 93yj right there it's cracked all the way around um, i got a little ahead of myself so basically you're gonna want to start and you're gonna want to pull off this is automatic so you're gonna pull off your kick down cable and your throttle cable next thing you're gonna do is pull your injector harness your AL air control um, all your injectors you're gonna pull all your vacuum hoses off of certain spots uh, air temp sensor coolant temp sensor more vacuum lines here Get your two fuel lines in and out Get a bracket here and bolt I put the bolts back here you need to swing your power steering pump to the side there's gonna be two bolts one there and one up there that you're gonna pull off and attach it to the intake um, I'm just gonna try to leave my fuel line on for this and see if I can swing it over here and then you're gonna want to take off all the bolts all the way around. So I'm gonna do that right now and uh, I'll get back to you guys. So we got the intake manifold off. As you can see, it was a total of four bolts on the top, four bolts on the bottom. You have two dowel pins there that I'm not positive. Leave those go here and there okay and now we have one on top one at one end and one at the far back holding the exhaust manifold on and we still need to disconnect it down there do that next so we got the exhaust manifold off um, I went ahead and I disconnected the front drive shaft so that I had enough room to get to the bolts underneath. As you can see, one came right off and one snapped. But that's uh, probably best case scenario. So when they snap off, they don't strip out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around this. And I'm going to just weld it up for now and weld a bar goes from here and here, here and here, and I have some exhaust rip, so I may see if I have enough to do that. But I'll get back to you guys after I uh, get that welded up, and then I have to take a trip, get a new gasket. I'm not certain this is, just, this is the stock gasket. I have a feeling this has been changed before could be wrong because almost all my bolts came right out with no problem um, I think I'm probably only an hour into this job so far it's been pretty good um, another thing I did is I also pulled this bolt out that loosened that bottom bolt so this would swing out of the way so I was able to take my electric imp uh, ratchet and uh, buzz that one off instead of doing it by hand that made a big help well so far i did most of the job with a 9 16 wrench my electric ratchet and what the hell was it um, what did i do with oh it's the water here and my little impact driver get back to you guys after that's all welded up all right we got it welded up I put a couple pieces of metal in there I wish I could clean those up those welds will actually look halfway decent but there's so much slack I don't know my wire brushes I put a brace across here weld across there 
Got a bird shit little deer in there. But uh, it's all back together. Two new studs on there. I'm gonna change this gasket. And then I'm gonna go and clean up the, uh, the ceiling surfaces. And uh, bolt this thing together. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, if you get your ceiling surfaces cleaned off, they're all fairly clean. Uh, spray it down with some brake cleaner. You don't need any oil on there. Um, and I got myself a Fell Pro gasket, which I do not recommend, but it's what my police had in stock. And I want to get this done today. That's the part number for that. I'm also going to use some copper spray on that gasket because it's a fail pro and uh we'll go from there i'm gonna spray this gasket down and set it on the exhaust manifold in place put the bolts in just barely so that you can still get it on the doll pins guys so I got everything well not everything I got most of the stuff put together um, what you're gonna do once you get the intake manifold on and you slide it past those bolts that I had just barely sticking out make sure you're lined up in both of the doll pins on either end I finger tighten uh, that bolt middle one and this one over here um, and then after you have everything all finger tight I start with the center one go down below you're gonna have one about here and one about here underneath tighten those and so on and so forth you work your way out so that everything clamps flat uh, uh, one important thing to do is inspect all these rubber boots for your vacuum lines. Like I found out the one for my fuel pressure regulator was off crack, so I put a new one on there. Um, good time to inspect your PCB. Uh, sorry, this motor's kind of a mess. It had a bad uh, valve cover gasket that leaked for a really long time, so everything's just coated in oil. Well, I'm going to finish up tensioning our steering pump and we're going to replace the exhaust donut which goes between this is your exhaust donut there's your part number that goes between the header and the down plate That's about it so far. See you guys when it's all back together and we'll go for a test drive. Well, we got the exhaust all back together on the Jeep. Um, got a new, new tailpipe section. And I fixed my muffler, which was banging around everywhere. Um, Start it up quick. Oh, no more exhaust leak.